In this video, we will learn how to create a professional looking lower third from scratch. A quick disclaimer here that this tutorial is going to be focused towards beginners for people who are very new to After Effects and want to get a hang of it because I will be covering some of the basics here. I am Nikhil from dopemotions.com and without any further ado, let's get started. Alright, so here we are in After Effects. Let's start by creating a new composition. I'm going to call this lower third. 1920 by 1080, 30 FPS and 10 seconds long. Hit OK. Let's create one more composition for our logo and call this logo. For the width and height, I'll keep this 500 by 500. Hit OK and then you can drag in your logo. So in this case, I'm going to use the Envato logo. You can of course use any logo that you want. Let's go with 60% and quickly I'm going to go into effects and um, presets. If I can find that and I'll add a fill. Let's make this white. Hit OK. I'll just dog this up right over maybe here so there we have our fill on the logo so our logo logo is white you can of course use any logo you want any color that you want of course and then select the rectangular tool let's set the stroke to 10 we don't need any fill so i'm going to set the fill to none hit ok and just double click on this rectangle let's go into rectangle one rectangle path one Let's make this a bit smaller, just like that. And that is looking pretty nice. Let's call this, um, call the stroke. Let's go back into our main lower third comp and drag and drop in the, lo the logo composition. I'll just close this one. Let's hit S and bring down the scale properties and scale this down maybe somewhere around 40. That looks good. Maybe I'll increase the stroke size a bit. So I'll go into the stroke and set this to 15. That looks much better. So firstly, we will animate our logo. So to do that, what we can do is go into this tab right over here and turn on the title action safe. Select the rectangular tool. This time we don't need any stroke. So I'm going to set this to zero. We just need the fill. I can use maybe something like a gray color and then create a shape like so. So this is gonna be our mat for the logo. So I'll just place it properly just like that. Align it. Now, if you don't see this align tab, you can find it under windows align. So now it's perfectly into the center. Let's call this mat. Make sure it is on the top of the logo comp. Hit F4 to bring up the track mat options and set this to alpha mat. So now we have something like this. Let's adjust the mat a bit so that it perfectly cuts the logo from the center. Just like that. Then select both the layers. Hit Ctrl D to duplicate it. So now we have two copies. Select the top one of the logo and set this to alpha inverted. And now we have something like that. Now I can just adjust my mat a bit. To fix the cut just like so now we have a nice clean cut now it's still there so I can adjust the mat again hit control shift H to hide the control layers and using the arrow keys I can fix that up just like that so that is looking pretty great let's go to one second and ten frames select both the logo compositions by holding control hit P to bring down the position properties create a keyframe on the stopwatch go at the very beginning and let's play around with the position so I'm going to bring that out like so and bring that out like that so now we have something like this looks pretty cool let's select all the keyframes and hit F9 to easy ease those keyframes go into the graph editor right click and select edit speed graph let's place the time indicator in the center of our keyframes select this point and drag the handle holding shift to the 
right and this one to the left so now we would have a really nice motion to our animation as you can see this is looking very nice yep that looks perfect now let's select the pen tool we need the stroke of maybe let's go with 15 pixels we don't need any fill so i'll set this again to none and then turning on the title action safe let's create a stroke just like so there we go there we have a nice stroke and this is gonna help us to add some nice accent to the animation so i'll call this line you can also change the color if you want so i can just change the color to something like an aqua maybe then go into the properties click on add a trim path and now we can animate the end and the start properties so i'll go a very beginning also make sure it's aligned into the center yep that works um that is not a line so i'll just move this up oh, select the line and using the arrow keys i'm going to move that perfectly into the center and now we can animate the end and the start property so at the very beginning i'll create a keyframe on the end property go to somewhere around one second set this to 100 go back to 10 frames create a keyframe on the start property go at one second and 10 frames and set this to 100 so now we will have a nice animation just like so but right now it's not looking the way i want it to look so what i'll do is i'll select all these layers and move them maybe 20 frames forward and let's see now what i'll do is i'll select the start keyframes and tweak them a bit move them a bit forward in time so what i want is maybe a bit more So now we have something like this that is looking great let's select the keyframes hit f9 go into the graph editor and follow the same exact steps that we did so I'll move the handles to the le right and this one's oh make sure you select them this one's to the left like so you can see we have a nice animation right over here that is looking sweet maybe i'll increase the time duration a bit of these two keyframes because i think the logo appears a bit too fast and bring them a bit closer yep that looks perfect then hit ctrl a select them all and hit u to close them all up now before we proceed further with this tutorial, I would like to take a minute and introduce you guys to VideoHive.net. The motion graphic junkies like me are ought to know about VideoHive, but if you don't know it yet, no worries. I'll make sure you just not know about it, but also get the most out of it. So VideoHive is a part of Envato market, which is a huge marketplace for creative assets, in which VideoHive specifically provides assets related to motion graphics. At VideoHive, you are exposed to a sheer number of motion graphics sampled for After Effects, Premiere Pro, Cinema 4D, Final Cut Pro that you can also purchase to use in your projects and make them look super professional and attractive as you can. To be specific, you can find titles, openers, lower thirds, elements, infographics, logo strings, overlays, transitions, slideshows and much more. So make sure to check out videohive.net. The link will be in the description below. Right click create a new null object let's align it into the center and this is gonna be our main null so i'll just call this main for now and then parent everything so if you don't see this parent option you can click on this so right click go to columns and parent and link parent this to the null object so we can animate them all together so i'll go to somewhere around let's go maybe here select this null hit p to bring down the position properties create a keyframe go to three seconds and move this to the left just like so, so 
that is looking good now let's add our text but before that let's actually create a mat for our text so i'll select the rectangular tool again we don't need any stroke we just need the fill hit okay and create a big shape like so this is going to be a mat for our text so i'll actually go back right here let's drag this you can also go ahead and scale this up maybe so actually let's select this hit u two times go into the rectangle properties unlink this and then we can just change the size maybe zoom in try to be a bit more precise i'll place it like that okay so this is going to be our text mat so i'll call this text underscore mat and hide this and parent this to the null so it moves along with the null we can hide the null as well all right let's select the text tool and now you can of course type in anything that you want so i'm going to type in something like the example that we went with so i'm, I'm, I'm going to type in video hive and let's go with a next uh, black one of my favorite font increase the size a bit we don't need so much of spacing just something like that looks good let's select it hit control d to duplicate it put this below call this creative community for the font i'll go with a nexa uh, bold i'll make them capital bring down the size a bit increase the spacing perfect Place them just like so. That is looking super nice and clean. So there we have our text. Now let's animate our text. So I'll select the both the text hit P to bring down the position properties. Create a keyframe. Go to maybe 20 frames. That is one second and 20 frames. And pull them out just like so. But right now it, lo it looks pretty weird right so what i'll do is i'll select the text mat hit u so we can see just the keyframe actually select the null and hit u so we can see just the keyframes select all the keyframes hit f9 go into the graph editor and the same exact thing normally or usually i like to use the keyframe wingman but you know we are making this tutorial for just beginners so I don't want you guys to jump into scripts and plugins right now. You need to, you know, have a good control over the graph editor first. So, yep, it's very important. So there we go, but it's not looking right at the moment. So to fix this, what we can do is select the text and go into fix and preset and type in set mat. Double click to apply that up. And then into the take mat from layer, I'll select the text mat. And then invert the mat. Let's copy this, hit control C and paste it on our second text. And there we go. There we have a really cool lower third animation. Very, very nice. Now let's select select everything. Hit control shift C to precompose them. It's very important that you have a good control over the shortcuts as well because it's super handy and your workflow will be very quick and fast. So yeah. Let's actually call this animation. Hit OK. I'm going to select this layer, add a fill on this. Making this actually a black color. You can, of course, go with any color, as I said. Hit Ctrl Y, create a new solid. I'll call this BG for background. Hit OK. Going to keep it white. Bring that below. And now what I'll do is let's try to create a nice shadow. So I'll select this layer, hit control D to duplicate it, select the bottom layer or the second layer, call this shadow, pull this below just like, just like that, hit S, unlink this and let's actually scale this down a bit and then I'm going to add a fast blur. Let's increase the blur amount really high. And then hit D, bring down the opacity. Just a touch. 
and now we have a really nice shadow which gives a nice depth to the complete animation now you can also use this as a title but i really like to use this as a lower third but yes in case if you want to use this as a title you can use that as well there we go there we have a clean lower third animation using some very simple steps in after effects now if you guys don't want to create a lower third you just want to you know just want the animation you don't want to learn creating lower third or you just want lower thirds really quickly in just few clicks you can check out the create pack from the motion bro so let me just show you guys really quick so in the lower third section they have some really cool collection of lower thirds so you can check that out as well so if i just actually preview this you can see it's very easy to preview you can easily use any of this lower third and the best part is that all the lower thirds are super smart meaning they are auto resizable so by by that what i mean is if i just maybe close this layer and let's add a lower third i'll add this one so there we have our lower third but let's say i want to type something else instead of this text that it has so i'll just maybe select the graphic design and just type in um director you can see the shape is going to get auto adjusted so i can also select a really nice font maybe something like a nexa black again one of my favorite and for these two also i'm going to go with a nexa bold so you can of course select any font and as you can see right now it's it's type the type is saying maximo if i just actually change this to nikhil you can see it is auto resizable so that is a really cool thing and it's going to of course save you a hell a lot of time so i highly recommend you guys to go ahead and check out the create pack the link will be in the description below so that is a wrap for today guys i hope you enjoyed this tutorial on the lower thirds and if you did then make sure to subscribe to my channel and also make sure to check out some other amazing tutorials you can learn some amazing motion design stuff from this channel i hope you guys get the most out of it so yeah also make sure <laughs> to follow me on instagram at dope.motions and till then i'll see you and don't forget to always stay raw stay creative peace out